Um, yes, and I think that was telling, and it tells us something about where we are now in Britain, that we're now having to defend the Human Rights Act here in Britain. Um, and I think it really is worth stressing that you know, human rights are a universal thing. And I think we should be speaking out not just about the situation of Rafe Badawi, but about everybody in Saudi Arabia where we have these absolutely barbaric laws that clearly are in breach of universal human rights. And I've done other campaigning and looking at the situation of, you know, there's been so many cases of um, Indonesian maids very much at the other end of the, um, of the social spectrum, but who've been executed in Saudi Arabia very often for clearly trying to defend themselves against abusive employers. And I think we have to say very loudly and clearly free rape, but also say you know, this is you know, absolutely in breach of every principle of human decency, human rights, and we have to say that loudly and clearly. However, I think we can shout that very loudly from this room and we can get hopefully hundreds of thousands of people to shout with us and that might ultimately have an impact on the Saudi government. But if we think about what we can do from within this room, given where we actually are now, I think the key pressure point really is the British government. And I think you know, you've referred to the fact that I talked about the arms trade in the leader debates. We had just had a very good briefing on that. So I won't go into too much detail on that. But I will actually also raise something that I think is worth campaigning on as well. And I learned about this today from the Peter Tatchell Foundation. And it is one of those things that when you learn it, you think irony may actually finally be dead. The UK Ministry of Justice commercial arm is agreeing to provide consultancy services to the Saudi Arabian, Arabian prison service. the UK Justice Department consultancy to the Saudi prison service. Now, I think we need to highlight that, we need to focus on that, we need to campaign on that, as well as campaign on the arms trade, as well as you know, really put the pressure on David Cameron, on every Tory we can find, on every MP we can find, and really make this and the whole issue of our relationship with Saudi Arabia, a huge issue. And I think we can do that on two grounds. The obvious moral ground is human rights. You know, as has been said before, you know, obviously we're looking, talking about how we combat the hideous, awful human rights abusing organisation that's just you know, utterly, unimaginably hideous, ISIS, IS. There's a lot of parallels with Saudi the Saudi Arabian regime. And you know, some of the ideology that's behind IS, ISIS, actually comes out of Saudi Arabia and the regime there. So I think we can focus on that. But you know, there are some people for whom this will be, you know, it's something far away and they're not terribly concerned in human rights, they kind of think of as an optional extra. And so I think it's also worth highlighting what's happened around the world historically where we've supported hideous, dictatorial, human rights abusing regimes. And we can go from Saddam Hussein to Colonel Gaddafi, the list can go on and on. And it always ends badly and it ends up in ways that damages the whole globe, not just the countries who've been subjected to it. So I think it's really worth again putting pressure, pressure on the British government and saying all of this arms that you're shipping into Saudi Arabia, where do you think they're eventually going to end up? How and by whom will they get used? Do you really think the Saudi regime is a long-term stable regime? We know historically, we can't necessarily predict when, but we know historically that this will end up in a state of chaos, in a state of breakdown, and who knows where that goes. So I think you know, my, my simple message really is, you know, let's keep up all the pressure we can muster, all the internet work that we can muster on the Saudi regime. But let's also make sure we're doing everything we can closer to home to really put the pressure on the government and say, we've been down this path so many times before and we know where it ends up. And 
in our own self-interest, as well as in the moral interest of human rights, justice, decency. Let's not keep going down this path. Thank you.